I'm here with John Shook and Vinny Detola at Animal, and we're gonna make bacon desserts. Yeah, chocolate bar. We're gonna, bacon we're chocolate gonna bar. Demo our bacon chocolate bar. Um, Vinny's gonna demo making the bar. I'm gonna cut up the bacon. This is what we use. New skis. New skis right is here. awesome bacon. Yeah, we actually render out the bacon until it's like almost burnt. So you're using more of the meat than the fat. Yeah, in the exactly. Dessert. All right. But if you're making this at home, just get a bunch of hazelnut chocolate. I mean, like you could play around with it too. This isn't like a formula that you right, know right, was right. like built immediately and then it worked. It's been tweaked and worked on. Like you know, we had problems cutting it, and it was like What's that? The, that that is a hazelnut paste actually. Um, it's also called praline paste. It's basically made from caramelized sugar, hazelnuts, and vanilla beans, and they just like puree it until it's a smooth paste. Um, Here's the thing: I'm making this at home. I'm skipping all these steps and just buying it out. Perfect. Yeah. <laughs> what I'm gonna do is I just took the bacon, just cut it in half. It's stacked, obviously, to just kind of make it faster. And for this dish, we actually cut it really fine. A brinois to start, and then it gets rendered, so it's even finer. Brinois is that? What is that? That's a uh, brinois is a knife cut. Ooh. It's uh, smaller than a small dice. Nice. So I'm gonna use that all the time. Uh, and what made you originally decide, like, I'm going to put bacon on this chocolate bar? Well, I, had, I, I think we had seen bacon and chocolate tied together. And I think, like I said, just the savory element right. inside of the dessert department for us was kind of, you know, something we always enjoyed. Look at that dice. That is a perfect brimoire. Brimoire. We don't use too many fancy cooking terms around here. I like you threw that out like it was nothing, the brimoire. Yeah. So in the rendering process, the fat actually helps make it crispy. That is so essential to this dessert. It's like, if the bacon's not crispy, the dessert is right. Cast iron pan. Always a cast iron pan we for love, everything, right? Yeah, we love, we love cast, cast, iron. cast iron here. Good even heat. Easy to clean. Easy to clean. Also makes you feel like a man, big heavy pan. Yeah, man. And you want to crisp up that bacon a lot, I would think, before you dip that oh, in chocolate. Oh, hell yeah. Yeah. I mean, like Vinny said, we're going to take this bacon like, where it's like almost burnt. This is a stage where, you know, you get nervous and you kind of pull it out because you're this like... This is where you panic. Cause, cause, yeah, you're like, oh, it's, it's, oh, 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 it's there, it's there. Yeah. It's, it's not actually there yet. It's almost there. See, if I shake it around, you can kind of see it a little bit better. When it foams up, it really like this. That's what it's close? Yeah, it's getting real close now. And meanwhile, this is a process. It's still yeah. going over here. This, like Vinny said, that this one is the one. You don't that have to stir that or anything. You just let it sit there. Yeah. yeah. It's still gonna carry over just a touch. When I take it out, this is still gonna be cooking. All right, then you just try and get rid of some of the fat. Yeah. You just drain it off the paper towel. It smells great. It does not smell like dessert. No. It smells more like breakfast, right? It does. Now I'm just getting to let it. And those are going to go on the very top of the whole so dessert. So you're seeing the yeah. first and final layer. The okay. first and final layer. So it's basically time. a chocolate bar with little bits of bacon on top. Pretty much. So now, now is when we add the salt. And there's a measurement we have. That's not that much salt for that. Right, much. it is though. You wouldn't think it is, but like a salt in chocolate comes out so much more than salt on a steak. Really? I just use that much salt on one steak, an eight ounce steak, I use right. that much salt. But in the chocolate, it comes out so much more. But I, I have a measurement, but I always add just a pinch more. Okay. And then. Whoa, okay. Sweetine. Now this looks like it could be dessert alone. That's, yeah. That's what he was saying. Yeah. Yeah. You can mix all these layers together if you really wanted to. But we like the look of the three. It layers. does look good, yeah. And we don't want to make it too easy for people to try to knock off. What is this? This is just a little bit of nonstick spray. You spray it on the sides just for. Oh. Good so it's like it's canola or something in there? Uh, yeah. Chris. Vegetable oil. Just a little bit. Preventive maintenance. All right, so it's a pretty thin layer. It's gonna wind up being. Yeah. For this massive, this is like, it's essentially you're making one massive candy bar. And this is the first layer of many. What's gonna be, you know, three more layers with the bacon, you know, counting the bacon as one of the layers. So if you didn't make it correct, like imagine how lopsided it would become. 
This is exactly what happens on like uh, like the Today Show when they do cooking segments. Yeah. Like you suddenly come out with a finished piece. Yeah, this is like ganache, which is basically like cream, chocolate, and peanuts. And the top layer is like mousse, which is my favorite layer. Whoa, so there's three different layers. Yeah, yeah that's but it's actually layer. four because of bacon. Yeah. This is a complicated dessert. Yeah. I wish I hadn't chose this dessert. <laughs> is that prettier? It looks like eight turds. <laughs> <laughs> eight turds. Turd bars. Bacon turd bars. Don't burn it. How close do I want to get to this? Thing? You just want to like basically kiss it. How's that? Oh, that's it. And then, that's it? yeah, that's, that's it. it. We're going to torch it one How did more I time. Do like that, uh, that was actually like seven. It wasn't seven? bad. Yeah. So then we're going to add, which would be the fourth layer, which is the bacon. You don't want to skim here. This is where you... No, because something's going to fall off when you're cutting it. Because if this were salt, you use a lot less. Yeah. I felt like you really loved it when you did all that right there. See how now it looks like, you know, a nice dessert? And then, what you want to do to make it like look like it was freshly made right then... Oh, no way, you just tricked people. You wow, it, it looks like it came out of the oven. Yeah. <laughs> You want some? What? She's like, yeah. <laughs> oh, good. Yeah, but That's like good, the right? Home, the you home like version. That. The home version would be. Cool. Thanks, cool. guys. Cool. Thanks, dude. I'll be back. Awesome. Later. Thank you so much. Thank you. Enjoy. Great.